Hi everybody, this is Kyle Sears from Zoll Medical. Today's Zoll X-Series Tips and Tricks video is going to focus on how to use the automatic blood pressure feature to its full potential. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to talk about is just kind of a general understanding of what the X-Series and the Welsh Allen blood pressure technology are trying to accomplish. So in its simplest form, the technologies work together to try to mimic what you would normally be doing taking a manual blood pressure. At the same time that air is inflating the hose, the technology in the X-Series is also trying to match up that inflation with the heartbeat of the patient that you have the cuff on. It's really important to treat this cuff like an ECG electrode. You don't want anything between this material and the patient's skin. So make sure it's going right on their skin. That's the first thing you want to look out for. It's important to make sure you have the right size cuff on as well. So when you go to put the cuff on, there's an artery index marker here. You're going to take that and line it up on the brachial artery line of the patient's arm like this. And that's another way for the machine to match up the inflation with the heartbeat of the patient that you have the cuff on. When you go to close that cuff down, you want the artery index marker to be between the two bracket points on the cuff. A cuff like this would be one that's too small for that particular patient. That's going to give you higher than normal blood pressures. And a cuff like this is too big, which is going to give you lower than normal blood pressures. So if you can do these things on the front end, your overall experience with using the blood pressure is not only going to be more accurate, but more consistent, and it's going to be faster as well. The more things you can do on the front end in prepping the patient to acquire the blood pressure, the better your chance is getting a good, quick blood pressure. So to make sure that you have the artery index marker running down the brachial artery line of the patient's arm and the size is correct, and ensuring that the cuff is placed directly on the skin is going to set you up for success when you go to acquire that pressure. When you're ready to acquire, the bottom right corner, the arm with the cuff on it, you go ahead and press that button and you'll start to see the numbers. The goal for the Welsh Allen technology is to catch the blood pressure on the inflation on the way up, whereas normally other technology catches it after it's hit its peak inflation level and then starts to do its work on the way down. So what that means for you as a provider is it's going to be a lot faster, it's going to be more accurate because there's less opportunity for that patient to move around. So once the blood pressure has been acquired, we're also going to pull in a heart rate if you have nothing else hooked up to the patient at that time. So you get your systolic, your diastolic, your mean arterial pressure in parentheses, and then there's a space right here. If you ever see a space with an icon that looks like a ninja star, the machine is basically saying, hey, there was a lot of interference, there was a lot going on, I didn't have an opportunity to get a good, accurate reading. So typically in those situations, you're gonna to wanna to take another blood pressure. So while the goal is to get it on the inflation, it's not gonna happen like that every time, especially if the patient's moving around a lot, if you guys are driving down the road. So in those situations, if you have the limb lead cables and can place those on the patient, that'll act as another source of QRS information and help the machine synchronize the inflation with the patient's heartbeat that way as well. If you ever are in a situation where you want to put the monitor into automatic blood pressure mode, you can use your navigation arrows, highlight blood pressure, go down to where it says manual, and you can toggle to auto. Now the default is every five minutes to go automatically, but you can change that as well by togging down to NIBP auto mode interval. Go anywhere from one minute up to 60 minutes. For that particular patient, then it'll be locked in in automatic mode. There's also a way to configure your monitor to always be in automatic mode. You can speak to your sales rep uh, in regards to setting that up if that's your desire. The last thing to cover on the X-Series when it comes to blood pressure is the trending data that it collects. So every five minutes, the X-Series will reach out automatically and it's going to record all of the vitals that are currently running on the screen and trend those out over the course of the call. That information will also be available for you to upload into your EPCR vendors platform as well. To access those during the call, you can hit the home button and you'll see a window that says NIBP trends. So every five minutes or anytime there's an intervention with the patient, the information that's currently available on the screen will be brought into this screen 
put into the memory of the machine and also made available to send to your EPCR platform. So hopefully that's a quick rundown and refresher of blood pressure on the X-Series. Please let me know if you have any questions and thank you for your time.